Greetings. I'm Tangelika Cox. Um, I had the pleasure of speaking with Talik uh, Ibn Ra, and you know he has a movement slash ministry by the name of the Reality Temple on Earth, and I had the pleasure of speaking with him for several hours today, and. I think it's only fair that I do a reaction video to um, the conversation. And the conversation was on various topics, which was basically centered around African quote-unquote consciousness. And um, he was a real, real deep brother, very down-to-earth, very approachable. He didn't carry himself like a know-it-all. Someone you could talk to and really listen to you. Um, it was such an honor to finally meet somebody over the internet that has a ear to listen. And not only an ear to listen, but will take full action on what they stand for and I appreciate it having that conversation with you and I do look forward to working with you um there's a lot of issues regarding the black family that needs to be addressed that's much deeper than just being deadbeats uh being convicts being cheaters and liars um that's just a symptom of the underlying problem which nobody seemed to want to address because everybody want to point the finger at the other woman or society as a whole or the white man but the truth be told the white man don't dictate every single action you do and that's just what it is and not only that but as being black myself I know that we're cowards and and on so many different levels on so many different levels we're cowards we're cowards because we do a whole lot of talking and debating and negotiating but when it comes down to getting with the business when it comes down to making shit happen everybody is just waiting on the next person to see what they're gonna do instead of taking point blank action within themselves. We also discussed in depth about the breakup of the black family. We talked about Christianity, which is just certain things, no matter with all the information I know about it, it just will never ever uh, sit well with me being Christian because I already know the origins of it. And once you got full knowledge of it, it's like learning the truth about an adulterer and pretending that it never happened. It never will. It'll always linger in the back of your mind. Um, excuse my appearance, too. I'm relaxing. I'm winding down. And, um, you know, I just, man, I'm, I'm in my element. You know, I don't have to put on a damn dashiki and a turban to teach and be taught. You know, I, I'm very down to earth as an individual and, you know, I'm in my element right now, you know, but one thing I will tell you is that, um, a change needs to come and people can dance around the shit with pointless movements and, lectures and you know debates and all this bullshit but at the end of the day something need to be done because we got a new generation that's coming up in the head and they need to be taught to be you know independent and strong and fearless and you're not going to be that if you're a fucking coward and you know you can think because you dib and dab in your kids life you dip and dab in community, uh, you know, uplifting. But 
truth be told, until you literally get off your ass and make some shit happen, it's gonna, the problem is still gonna remain the same, and you're still gonna be crying on Facebook, YouTube, you know, a lot of the people on YouTube is hypocrites, Mama. and furthermore, don't even have no business trying to educate because you're spreading ignorance and foolishness and nonsense and it's not even necessary and most of you guys don't even practice what you preach I don't know no conscious people that's ready to get a circumcision I don't know no con no no conscious people that's willing to um to uh excuse me oh man this camera is horrible Sorry about that. Um, I don't know any conscious people that's really to really truly adopt African culture. Not only that, I ain't willing to do it either. You know, I, I actually like being in America and to think you're going to come to somebody's land is ridiculous and think you're going to change something. For number one, you were brought over here in captivity. How the hell you think you're going to change something when... This doctrine, it stands right now. And the Black Panther Party couldn't change it. Louis Farrakhan couldn't change it. Malcolm X couldn't change it. Um, Martin Luther King couldn't change it. You know, Coretta Scott King couldn't change it. Um, no political figures could change America. Point blank, period. Marcus Garvey, nobody. I don't give a damn who you talk to on YouTube, uh, Facebook, any other website you talk to. None of them have a solution for racism. None of them have a solution, a solution to uh, ending oppression because we're on their land. What, what could you really do? It's not really that much you can do. When you're in somebody's hood, you got to respect they gangster. You got to respect America's gangster. And I do. I do to a certain extent. But I respect all uh, levels of consciousness information, Kendrick information, kinetic information, however you want to call it. I respect all that. However, I'm right here, and I don't want to leave, and I'm not going to leave, and it's very pointless to have debates and lectures and all kind of crazy shit to try to convince people that their history is important when it's really not. Their history is only the past. And we're living in a world of 2015. Focus on what's going to be happening in 2025. You're not living in 17... 16, 15, or even before that. You're not living in any of those times. And it's very pointless to think that you're going to dictate something when you can't even dictate right here in America your current situation. Anyways, um, it's so much I would like to say, but I'm at a loss for words, so I'm going to be out with this. Peace.